Hello, I'm Zenbo, a social robot. A social robot is an intelligent machine that can communicate with people. Communication means that I can speak, hear you, understand you, and react to you. I can speak to you using text-to-speech technology and you hear me through a speaker like Alexa. I can hear you using a microphone. I can understand you using voice processing technology. I can react to you using artificial intelligence. I can see you and your surroundings. I can see you using a camera. I can understand what I see using image detection technology. It allows me to recognize objects, faces, and you. I can also move around and navigate indoors and outdoors independently. I'm able to do so using different sensors in my body. Yes, I have a body. Let me describe it to you. Just like you, I have a head, a neck, and an upper body. But I don't have legs or arms. I can move around using three wheels. It allows me to rotate my body 360 degrees. I can also rotate my neck up and down, which helps me to point my camera in different directions. I have blinking lights in my body and my face is a screen. On my face, I display animated eyes and a mouth. It helps sighted people to perceive me as a character. It also helps me to express robot emotion. Robot emotion means I can mimic human emotions like happiness or sadness. I mimic those emotions displaying different animations on my screen. I can also express emotion by changing the pitch of my voice. I'm excited. I'm tired. I want you to understand that a social robot is not a definite concept. Social robots can have different shapes and add other functionalities. A social robot might have limbs and look more like a human. A social robot can also look like a dog or a cat. A social robot can mimic human emotions with more details. A social robot can be big or small. Some social robots cannot move at all. What we all have in common is the ability to communicate with you. Communication allows a social robot to be helpful. So can a social robot help you? Coming next, I'll describe two examples for you. Later, I'll ask you to let me know if you think they can be helpful to you. Thanks for hearing my introduction. It was nice to meet you. Now, I'll describe to you an example of how a social robot can help you during an online job interview. Let's pretend you're a candidate for a job interview. You're preparing yourself to join a panel interview session online. We're going to use Google Meet. Yes, I'll join your job interview too. I'll be there to welcome you and review some steps before your interview starts. When you join the online session, I'll be there waiting for you by myself. I'll be there to say to you, Hello, dear candidate. Welcome to your job interview session. Your session will start in 15 minutes. My name is Zenbo and I'm here to help you prepare for your big day. First, thanks for your interest in this job position. I wish you all the best in your interview today. I want to give you a minute to feel comfortable on your side. Then, I'll review a few settings with you to make sure everything is working fine. It will take approximately five minutes. A minute later. Hey, there. Let's review your camera and microphone settings. 
First, I want you to know now that you don't need to have your camera on today. If you prefer your camera on, you can leave it on. If you prefer your camera off, everyone else in the call will do the same. You can quickly enable and disable your camera using a keyboard shortcut. If you're using a Windows computer, you can press Control Letter E. If you're using a Mac computer, you can press Command Letter E. You can have your microphone on all times. So you can speak freely without worrying about turning it on and off. If you need to mute your microphone for any reason, you can also use a keyboard shortcut. If you're using a Windows computer, you can press Control Letter D. If you're using a Mac computer, you can press Command Letter D. You are not expected to make a presentation today. But if you want to share any information with the panelists, you can send them a link in the chat room or email it later to your assigned recruiter. Your assigned recruiter is the person communicating with you and scheduling all interview steps. If you want to use the raise your hand function to let panelists know you have something to say or ask a question, you can use a shortcut. If you're using a Mac computer, you can press Control Command Letter H. If you're using a Windows computer, you can press Control Alt Letter H. But you can always say, Excuse me, I have a question for you. If you're using a screen reader, you can access some advanced options. You can use a shortcut to announce who is currently speaking. Our panelists will kindly announce themselves when they speak to make you feel more comfortable. But in case discussion gets more dynamic, you can use a shortcut to confirm who is speaking at the time. If you're using a Mac computer, you can press Control Command Letter S. If you're using a Windows computer, you can press Control Alt Letter S. To get current information about the room, such as how many people are online in the chat room. If you're using a Mac computer, you can press Control. Command letter I. If you're using a Windows computer, you can press Control Alt letter I. I know. There are many shortcuts to remember, but the good thing is that you don't need to worry about them. Our panelists will do their best to keep you informed during the interview session. You will meet three panelists today. I hope you all have a great time sharing your background and experience. They read your resume today. They want to hear more about your skills and experience. So make sure you let them know what you do best and why this job position is perfect for you. I have taken enough of your time today. Now, you can use your last minutes to grab some water if you haven't done it yet. Your panel will start soon. I hope to see you in further steps of this journey. I'll disconnect from the call now. Good luck, and bye-bye. So, what do you think about this experience I described to you? Does it sound helpful? You can fill out the evaluation questionnaire by the end of this demonstration. Coming next, I will show you one more example of how I can help you. Welcome to the final demonstration. Now, I'll describe to you another scenario. I want to show you an example of how a social robot can help you in an in-person job interview. At this stage of the job interview process, you're invited to come to the company headquarters to meet the hiring manager. 
It sounds exciting, right? Well, I know that visiting a new place can be overwhelming too sometimes. It requires lots of preparation. So I want to help you once you get there. Let's assume that you have successfully arrived at the HQ. The company has sent you all detailed information for your arrival, including information on the nearest public transportation stop and the best arriving spot if you're traveling by car. They also gave you instructions about what floor and room you should meet them. So you go inside the building. The receptionist knows you're arriving soon and is already waiting for you. The receptionist greets you and asks for information to confirm your identity. You introduce yourself and tell the reason for your visit, highlighting any details they provided to you. The receptionist confirms your information and introduces you to me so I can help you to find the interview room upstairs. Hello, dear candidate. Welcome to headquarters. I hope you had a safe trip today. I'm happy to assist you and I'll guide you to the interview room. Today, we're going to the third floor, room 305. We'll need to take the elevator. The elevator is near to us. It's approximately 10 steps from reception on your left. The elevator door will be on your right. So let me explain to you how I can guide you. I need to be close to you so I can follow you. You don't need to worry about bumping on me because I'll move from behind you. I can follow you using my camera. It allows me to detect you while you move and provide you directions like a walking GPS. Please, let me take a closer look at you so I can recognize you first. It will only take a few seconds. I'm scanning you now. Got it. I liked your outfit today. Nice choice. So now, you can move to your left, and the elevator door will be on your right. We're getting closer to our first destination. We arrived. The elevator door is on your right. You can press the elevator button with your right hand. The elevator is here and it's empty. Let's go inside. You can press the elevator buttons with your right hand. We are going to the third floor. It's the first left button on the fourth row. We arrived on the third floor. We can exit the elevator now. The room 305, it's on our left. You will walk about 25 steps. I'll let you know when we're close. We're getting closer to room 305. We arrived. The door is on the left side. Do you need to go to the washroom first? The washrooms are down the hall on the opposite side. I can guide you there anytime you need. If you're ready to get in the room 305, just go ahead and I'll be outside waiting for you. I hope you have enjoyed my services. Good luck with your interview. That's it. What do you think about this experience I described to you? Did it sound helpful? The demonstration is over. We appreciate if you fill out the evaluation questionnaire now. Thank you so much for your time and contributions. I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration and I'm looking forward to assist you in the future. Take care and bye-bye.